All right. And with any luck, you guys should be seeing uh, the Hunter's Dream. Eventually. But I'm sure we'll see it. Oh, holy crap. There it goes. I'm going to mute real quick. That would be a good idea. I'm already muted. Aha, uh -huh, there we are. No, actually, I'm, I'm muted. We're good. You say I see you're classing <clears throat> it up? Yep. That That's a pretty nice hat. Sweet hat, uh, oh sweet my. jacket. That is a pretty a classy nice cane. Hat. The works. I'm gonna say, God, yeah, Arge, you're just fucking showing us all up here, aren't you? <laughs> He's just trying to get fancy. But as Liquidy knows from playing all sorts of interesting games with me, getting fancy is definitely not a good idea. Oh, hello there. I didn't even realize you were alive. Well, I, I mean. Getting fancy in Bloodborne doesn't necessarily directly lead to your own death. Except when it does at all times. Except every most time. of the time it doesn't. <laughs> I mean, all if right. you're talking... <clears throat> oh, excuse me. If you're talking about being fancy in your actions, then by all means, yes, that will get you killed. <laughs> but, uh... So... Well, I mean, if you're looking good, you're probably feeling good. And you're probably dying good. <laughs> <laughs> Alright then. So, I figure, I guess, for the first order business, uh, I could go around and uh, talk to some people and tell them to go to, like, the, um, the, the, the church or the, uh, the clinic. So, who's closer to one of the, uh, lanterns? The, um, um let's see. The old lady or the little girl? The little girl, um... definitely closer. It, it actually, I think the old lady is. It's it's just because it's just going through the house and then. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay, yeah, Damn I'm gonna it. go. I'll go talk to her and then we'll talk to the little girl and then we'll get back to. Uh, I thought the little girl was like old literally daughter. at the central. No, room. no, you're you're thinking of the same like. Uh, A totally intersection different little girl. Was. Yeah, no. There's a, a there's another. You're thinking of two gates that are, like, identical. I made the same exact mistake for about half a second. Oh, okay. You can see how much I remember of this game. Yeah. That I mostly get dragged through by Liquidy. Until he found a fight that he kept getting one shot in. Good job. <laughs> I so did so not get... And so, and so your solution was to bring somebody else with you. So that uh, he got one shot, too. Got... Yes, so we got even so that that person could get one shot, and it had even more health. Yeah, it uh, it was actually kind of funny that they both didn't last very long, and I'd sit there being a dodge wizard, but I can't do any damage as a dodge wizard. Sure, you can. You just have to get in a couple of quick swipes when uh, he when you're dodging. That that is not how dodge wizardry works. Well, that's not how Kaznorf works. <laughs> Okay, point, point. I I figured that fight out. I still... I'm not about to say I could beat him now, but... Yeah. Well, if I'm ever in the mood for Bloodborne, I'll put your, your claim to the test. Well, I mean, so, by... uh, just, just out of curiosity, how much of the game did you actually beat? Like, what, did, you, like, did you do everything, or...? I have... I have to finish the final boss of the main game and the final boss of the DLC... And I want to finish the DLC first, and that's clearly not going to happen. <laughs> uh, for what it's worth, I have access to the scythe, and I, I actually have it, but... Oh, good, good. Yeah. You say, the scythe is a good weapon. And, and I probably could... I, I probably could beat the final boss, but I really want to do the DLC first, and that's just not going to happen. <laughs> I'm a little inclined to say the chapel, because I'm a little wary of the clinic right now. Mostly because that's where we started, and, with the, uh, and the, I remember the blood transfusion from the beginning of the game. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if I trust that. Now, what could possibly be weird or off about the clinic? What could be possibly be weird about the place where you saw a blood wolf just kind of materialize? <laughs> what could possibly be weird? Not now that, that creepy happy. little stooge dude in the chapel who's just kind of like there and wiggly, that guy's weird. 
Yeah, don't, on the don't other hand. Yeah, don't trust that fucker. I don't know. I purified him. I think he'll be fine. I don't know. Uh, I guess, do you want the spoiler on how, whether you want to send one to the other? Or you just, uh, just want to kind of wing it? I'll wing it. I'm just going to trust my gut and go with the chapel. Alright. Oh, I can't believe he fricked it. <laughs> <laughs> So pushy. Yeah, that that lady's awful. Oh, yeah, she's awful. <laughs> I forgot the ghost lit some throats line. That's oof. <laughs> nah, she's just uh practical, shall we say? <laughs> That's one way to describe it. Oh, that man is. Oh, no, he does have pants on. Never mind. I thought he was indecent. Ah, that wasn't, uh... That wasn't to the back. Yeah, you <clears throat> kind of stabbed through his cheek. Oh, well. Exactly Although, interesting thing to note. If your charged up R2 swing would ordinarily kill a dude, you still trigger the uh, visceral state. Oh, yeah, I'm, I've done that. Okay, just making sure. Let's see, and then the little girl should be up this way, I believe. Yeah, it's up she's... the uh, ladder. Yeah. Yeah, up the ladder, kill the giant, up the next ladder. Now I'm actually starting to remember things. Take left skull. No, 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 we're not entering left skull. No. <laughs> Ugh, oh, statue nice. to the face. That sounds like we did some pro parrying. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I got it eventually. <laughs> Where's their front door? Oh, okay. There it is. Hello, Miss Hunter. <laughs> I'm just gonna give them, give her the brooch. You monster! You uh, you you chose poorly. You have condemned her to death. Have I? Yeah, yeah. You're you're supposed to lie to her. Apparently lying actually, to children is always the correct answer. <laughs> actually, I think every solution condemns her to death. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, that uh, sounds about right, honestly. I was going to say, if you tell her that you couldn't find the brooch, she'll ask if there's a safe place, and I know you can send her to the... You can send her to the, uh... The chapel at that point, but I don't know what... The deal is beyond that. Well, after after you send her to the chapel, if you go down and kill the pig again, it drops a red ribbon. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> oh my. Well then. <laughs> yeah. And then you can give the ribbon to your messengers to wear. Aww. That's so cute. Well, that was yeah. just unfortunate. Oof, yeah. Eh, I didn't need those souls. I mean, I guess I could probably go back up there. It's really not that far. That encounter is just a little rough. Yeah, I don't, I don't like dealing with those wolves at all. Man, you couldn't go ten minutes without making me read a story. <laughs> go for it. It's your, your turn. 
About five summers ago, I was working at a Wendy's in the southern part of the U.S. Our air conditioner broke. Even with the AC going full blast, on a normal summer day, the kitchen would reach about 75 to 80 degrees. And uh, that was with the AC working. On top of that, we were miserable wearing all black uniforms and itchy hats. And uh, our AC just happened to break during the hottest week of that year. Of course, they still made us work. We were sweating, irritable, just flat out miserable. It got to the point where sweat was literally dripping from people's faces onto the food. Fuck, even the guy on the grill was sweating so bad that when it fell from his face and onto the grill, you could actually see the sweat drop drizzle once it hit the hot surface. It was gross, but of course, Wendy still wanted that money. Now, the employees didn't want to sweat on the food, but you can't really control that. Customers would come through and say, wow, you look hot. Well, no fucking shit, dude, it's 95 degrees in here. Management made us take mandatory five-minute breaks to go sit on a pickle bucket in the walk-in cooler. <laughs> they bought us popsicles, ice cream, Gatorade, and even those towels that if you put water on it, it's supposed to keep you cool for eight hours or something. Management was really desperate. They wanted that money. They wanted customers to eat those sweaty burgers. I mean, oh, how, can, yeah. how can anybody turn down... A sweaty burger. <laughs> Quite easily, I, I'm i gonna say. I, I take it you've never grilled out in the middle of summer. <laughs> uh, standing, so standing next to a 400 degree grill and in 95 degree heat. There's. I was gonna say, yeah, alternatively you've never been in a real summer to grill. Yeah. I don't usually gr keep my face over the grill is the thing. Yeah, the, I don't know, that story seems kind of suspect. Like, you can't control that, but you could also just lean back, stand up straight. <laughs> uh, well, have you ever seen uh, a fast food grill? It's probably, it's much bigger than a, than a consumer grill. Oh, and yeah, if you And so. if you've got uh, burgers, for example, on the far end of it, you do have to lean over it to, to flip them. To get to them. Um, yeah. <clears throat> I mean, sweaty burgers, bad, but it's not the end of the world. <laughs> <clears throat> and honestly, come on. I, I like to, ever since I started working on cars, I like to joke that, uh... Uh, a ham sandwich just doesn't taste right without a little bit of engine grime on on it. Ugh. You just you get a sandwich. You don't even bother washing it. You just eat the sandwich and be done with it. Yeah, that sounds about right. Whoa, oh, oh. <laughs> Remember, kids, don't take Gatling gun rounds to the face. Ah, damn it. Uh. These things seem a little, or beefier? these ones in the rag seem a little faster and beefier. Yeah, yeah, they're they are certainly a little beefier, burlier even. <coughs> I don't know about burl. Well, they can't it's, match my burl, but they're they're it's too strong a word for what they are. I think. Yeah, it's true. They are kind of spindly. They're like me. Except really hairy. <laughs> uh, that wasn't quite where I thought that was going, but sure. <laughs> oh, nice dog. I couldn't see this guy at all. Are oh, you doing? Guys. Good roll. Yeah, that was. That worked out. Actually, would those guys being faster have anything to do with the fact that I have 20 insight right now? No. No. Okay. You're thinking about it too much. Okay, because I remember you guys saying that uh, enemies, or the game gets a little harder with the more insight, uh, insight I have. It does, but not in that way. 
you'll you'll see enemies get like new attacks or they'll you know things will change but things not will be that different way. yeah yeah you, you say it, they, they will be different in a way that will be extremely noticeable <laughs> okay also I, I feel you might want to tell stream chat what you did between sessions uh so we can explain why you have so much insight <laughs> oh right so uh between yesterday and today uh i ended up fighting father gascoin a lot a lot he says just a few times <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, I decided I wanted to, um, I don't know, just fight him a couple more times and uh, He's maybe a fun get a couple fight. more souls that way. Once, he is. Once, you know, once you figure him out, he's he's a pretty fun fight. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, this is this, this is, is a, living on the edge here. I knew that was a bad angle, but uh, stream delay would not have helped you. Like, I would have announced it the instant you got shot. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. We can get over this way. Something. Oh, hello. <laughs> yeah, there are a ton of enemies there. Yeah. Don't worry, I got it under control. So, yeah, yeah, control. We'll go with that. I'm uh, <laughs> I'm just trying to establish what you know and what you plan on doing. Because I, I uh -huh. haven't had the opportunity to watch either of the other two streams yet. Uh, I'm trying to pick it up from context here. Oh, all right. Uh, well, obviously, right now we're trying to get what? him down to uh, old Who yarn. Was that down guy? to uh, Amelia, or not Amelia? Um, no, no, it's just down down to the first boss I had issues with. Right, this guy I know doing? who you're talking about. <clears throat> also, that guy is kind of rude. He oh, is a dick. Congratulations, you found your first <clears throat> enemy hunter. Honestly, I, I would see. recommend uh, just ignoring him for now. You you see what he's doing, right? Yeah. Yes. I think that's super awesome that he's doing that. <laughs> so I ignoring the rude man, you have two places you could go. Uh, isn't the guy with Gatling gun up this ladder, or is that am I thinking of a different? Um, building? yes. If you go up that ladder, you will find your 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 man with the gun. Yes, uh, your friend whose name I actually don't properly know how to pronounce. I just said it the way I usually do to annoy C Jakes. Jura. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with Jura. That's probably the right way. That probably. sounds right. I didn't know he had a name. Head up that way. Yeah, that guy has a name. Yeah, you, you learn it if you don't kill him like basically everybody does. <laughs> well, to be fair, he's been shooting at you with a Gatling gun. <laughs> you have to go through great pains to make that man your friend. The hunter doesn't seem to know how to climb ladders. Uh... <laughs> Uh, you say I do not. Is is this the se is this the second ladder? Yeah. Um, I do not recommend going the entire way up that ladder. Just sneak a peek. I'm looking. He he is d d establishing the sort of uh, caution that war is warranted well when facing a man with a Gatling gun. <laughs> um. So uh, yeah, th this is your uh, this is your Gatling gun, friend. Right. 
And now that you've seen it, I can switch uh, Smushy over to her primary weapon. Does that mean I should probably ring a bell before going up to him? I mean, you don't have to fight him at all if you don't want to. Oh, heck. But if you don't, you'll, you know. You know. There's There are advantages and disadvantages to both options, courses I'm of action here. I'm gonna leave him alone for now. Do you like being shot with a Gatling gun? No, but it looks like I'm gonna be going away from the Gatling gun. That is so. true. It is pointed towards where you come in from, so... Yeah. Did the hunter just fade in and out of, from draw distance? Possibly. What? Well, the grass got hit by draw distance too, so... Are, are you suggesting that Bloodborne is not a perfectly programmed graphical masterpiece? <laughs> that the PS4 desperately is trying not to run? <laughs> Are you telling me this is in 1080 60 at all times? <laughs> all right. Well, clearly, uh, th this game needs to be on PC, so, uh. Ah, but you see, <laughs> if it goes to PC, those elitist douchebags will get to play it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually think it's been kind of hilarious forcing, you know, PC Master Racers to buy PS4s so that they can play <laughs> the, the Souls game they always wanted. It really does overinflate the, uh, the perception of how good Bloodborne actually is. Alright, that brings me back to right here. Yeah, that's what I thought. Desperately justifying your... $400 game. He <laughs> says, clutching his VR headset. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're nah. one to talk. They say, no, nah, nobody would ever buy a system for just one thing. He he says, holding on to his uh, Steel Battalion controller. 